says, not homeless, need booze. Christy joins me now with her plastic surgeon, Dr. Michael Saltzauer. Christy, I understand you have that sign with you. Let me see that. Is that right? I do. Let's see yes, it. Yeah. All right, let's see. There it is. That's the sign that has uh, prompted all this action, uh, including Dr. Saltzauer. So Dr. Saltzauer, how did she become your patient? Did she raise the money and well, guess... fly to Miami, or what happened here? She raised some of the money, but actually, after a few days of, of the story uh, hitting the internet, somebody posted it on my Facebook page. Actually, my anesthesiologist did. And, uh, you know, we do a fair amount of pro bono cosmetic work, which is a little unusual, but we do that, uh, you know, a few cases a month. And her story just, you know, touched our hearts. And we, we heard, uh, you know, that she was out there and she's a single mom working as a barmaid, trying to put herself through school. And uh, it was just, it, you know, it was, uh, it was a case of the squeaky wheel getting the oil. All right. It got our attention. All right. All right. And, uh, I get it. But Chrissy, how is this going to enhance? It's going to enhance your body. How is it going to enhance your life? Um, for self-esteem issues, because I am a double A, uh, it's just made me feel a lot better about myself. Uh, and you have a dog. And, 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 yeah. You have a daughter, is that right? And are you concerned that the focus on sort of, let's, let's call it, you know, sexualizing your, your body is going to have a, is it the message you want to be giving your daughter? Um, no, there is no message that I'm giving my daughter. My daughter is, I'm raising her to be open-minded. You know, I should, I should step in here a little bit. I mean, Chrissy, uh, to be fair, she's, she's a double A uh, bra size right now. She, she's, she's fairly flat. She's not talking about getting implants to be triple D's. She's talking about being normal, to be a, you know, a B or a C cup. Um, and especially in her line of work, in my experience, a lot of the, the waitresses and barmaids can see increases in their tips after they get plastic surgery. That's just a fact of life. And so she's doing it not just for her self-esteem, she told me, but also uh, as an investment. Uh, and, uh, you know, there, there's something to be said for that. All right, let me bring in a guest who has been with us in the past. She is uh, somewhat of an expert in this area. Lacey has, um, I guess, L-sized cup breasts, and she says she wants to get even bigger. We've been concerned about that. Um, Lacey, we've raised our concern about the health consequences for you. Um, you're a fan of this procedure, obviously, but not so sure, I guess, about what's going on with Chrissy. Tell me why. Well, I'm kind of concerned about her, um, you know, her support system there at home. Um, you know, I'm, I'm hoping that she has uh, some type of support at home to help her in this. Um, I, and I see that a doctor has stepped forward to help her, which is amazing. And I believe helping your self-esteem issues is a, is a great thing because I did the same thing. I was in her shoes. Um, my concern is free is not always good. So um, has she done her background checks on the doctor? Um, just, just something like that. I mean, jumping on an operating table would concern me without doing her uh, homework. All right. Well, doc, uh, let me do some of the homework with her, Doctor Doctor Saltzauer. Are you board certified in cosmetic sure, and plastic I'm, surgery? I'm a, Go ahead. Correct. I'm a board certified plastic surgeon. I've been in private practice in Bell Harbor for the last nine years. Um, I do about 350 breast augmentations. I have 10,000 patients. No one's ever died, and I've never been sued for malpractice. So that's our important information that every person uh, who's looking up a plastic surgeon should find out about the plastic surgeon. Um, I've got a website with literally hundreds of before and after pictures and 1,200 handwritten testimonials that you can look up at bellbody.com. So, um, you know, I'm not just, uh, you know, some fly-by-night guy uh, operating, uh, you know, in a garage in Hialeah somewhere. So, All right. Um, All right. Fair enough. So, 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 so you, you passed muster. That's an inside joke. Uh, 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 a little Twitter comment here from Yancey Faith. She says, yes, I can tell you firsthand, big boobs do give you a great life. No question whatsoever, friend, she says. I'm a little concerned about all this. Let me, let me talk to a, a caller real quick before we go to break. Allison in Florida. Allison? Allison, are you with us? How are you? Good. Go right ahead. I've had at least 14 boob, boob operations or breast operations. One about four months ago. Mm -hmm. I'm, I would say about 1,200 cc's, and I'm already looking to go bigger. It's definitely addiction. I don't leave my house much because I don't feel like I'm big enough. Wow. It controls my life. All right, and I, I thank you for that comment. I also understand, I know, we're, 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 it's, you're so, somewhat like uh, Lacey a little bit here, but she definitely leaves home. Uh, but there's also concerns about the possibility that this is not just the, the first surgery that someone might need when they have a breast augmentation. There may be future surgeries. And I've got a surgeon who's coming on who wants to sort of talk about those aspects of this procedure. 
Give us some calls, 855-373-7095. I'm not going away. You don't go away. Be right back. What did your 